fascinating topic of inventions through the ages. Inventions are what brought us out of the dark ages, helped end wars, and in general make life easier. Today we will be covering three inventions that have more than earned their place in history. The first of these is the machine gun. To tell us more, we go to our expert from the University of Southern Minnesota. Oh, hello. Well, it's good to be on the show. I'm gonna talk to you about cheese. I'm not? Machine guns? Okay. Well, I guess I'll talk about machine guns. The first machine gun was the buckle gun, invented in 1718. It had nine rounds in the cylinder magazine but it was not a true machine gun because it was only semi-automatic. The next true machine, the next machine gun that came out was the agar gun and it was in about 18 something, about 1864, 1860s and it shot 120 rounds per minute. It was a very good gun but it had problems overheating. The bear, it had one barrel it was cranked and it had problems overheating the barrel and so that wasn't very used very much and it also had a very large gun crew and then the next gun that came was the Gatlin gun it was actually about the same time and <laughs> it was a very nice gun it did not have the overheating problems because you would crank it and it had multiple barrels so it would shoot through one of these barrels and it, each barrel would only shoot a few times per rotation or a few times <laughs> and it wouldn't get as hot but it didn't get used as much either because it was targeted by snipers and it was hard to conceal because of the black powder smoke that would roll out of it so the next true, the only, the first true machine gun came in 1884 it was called the Maxine gun and it used Remember the word? <laughs> they used the kick off the last gun, the recoil. The recoil. They used the recoil off the last bullet to eject the shell and load another bullet. And then it, it could sustain fire for a long time. It worked very well. And all the machine guns that we have nowadays are based off of this machine gun. Wasn't that stirring information? America has long since been a competitor in the invention race. Their creations have ranged from very useful to utterly, utterly useless. One such invention is that of Coca-Cola. To learn more, we go to our expert in the field. Coca-Cola was first created by John Pemberton in 1886. Colonel John Pemberton was wounded in the Civil War and became addicted to morphine. He began a quest to find a substitute to the dangerous opiate. It was originally intended as a patent medicine. The first sales were at a pharmacy in Atlanta, Georgia. The prototype recipe was originally a cocoa wine. In 1885, Pemberton registered his French wine coca as neurotonic. He then developed Coca-Cola, essentially a non-alcoholic version of French wine coca. Pemberton claimed Coke could cure many diseases, including morphine addiction. When launched, Coca-Cola's main ingredients were cocaine and caffeine. Cocaine was derived from the coca plant, and caffeine from the cola plant, which is how Pemberton got the name Coca-Cola. In 1903, cocaine was removed from the recipe. The first bottling occurred in Vicksburg, Mississippi in 1891. They used the by-hand bottle shape. As the Coca-Cola company grew, Earl R. Dean wanted to find a way 
to up the competition with competing sodas, such as Pepsi. They decided the best way to do this was to create a unique and distinguishable bottle shape. Bottle shape. Known as the contour bottle or the hobble skirt bottle, the creators thought this bottle could be distinguished even in the dark. Mr. Green? Mr. Green? Yeah. You, you need any help? Mm -mm. I, I just want you to know, I think, I think you're the best ever. Yeah, sure. Want my Coke? It's okay, you can have it. No, no. Really, you can have it. <sighs> okay. A coke Thanks. and a smile Makes me feel good Makes me feel nice Be around That's the way it should be I like to say Thank you. The whole world is smiling with me the okay. color has life Wow, who knew? To end our show, I will tell you about one more invention. They say that necessity is the mother of invention. Well, our last item is a necessity that many of you could not go a day without. It has become part of our lives. It is the humble roll of toilet paper. And then I can walk around. <laughs> yeah. That was refreshing. <laughs> toilet paper has been around since the 6th century AD. It was first invented by the Chinese and was not nearly as comfortable as what we have today. It started out as a corn cob or a rag or even your hand. Until the eight, until 1857, when Joseph Deity introduced his first medicated butt wipes. His product didn't really take off until the 1920s, but when it took off, it took the nation by storm. Today, over 26 billion rolls of toilet paper are sold in the U.S. every year. There are all sorts of this amazing product. The luxury sort is quilted and also may have a lubricant and a chemical uh, antibacterial. There are also many colors to choose from, from green to blues to reds to purples whichever best matches your decor. The United States has since stopped offering these, but in many places in Europe, you can still find them. To wrap up our show, we send you to our friends on Sesame Street. Let's take a tour of the factory, find out what this pulp is about to be in a big machine. Up the belt, go by, got to get it very wet because it's very dry. Got to mush it, mash it, make it into slurry. Hurry, can't rest when a mess is occurring. Tidy it up, wring it out, press it flat, wind it up like that. Into the thing called the master roll, and that's what we take home, right? No! Oh, that one's way too big for us, as if going to the bathroom wasn't quite complicated enough. Don't want to add to that a toilet roll bigger than a Cadillac, that'd be sad. We couldn't lift it up if the roll ran out Would we hire a truck, a one-prong forklift Just the thing to back it up Now bring it into the swing of the mechanism Yeah, we're rolling now like generously Doling out yard after yard of the bath tissue To the benefit of skinny little cardboard tubes Uh-oh, they're naked, better get them dressed Where do you expect they'll roll to next? Are they headed directly to the grocery store? What are they still in the factory for? Not too heavy anymore, that's true But still too long to fit in the bathroom So we measure them out and we cut them to size so they look like rolls we recognize See how they ride down the line with these It's hard to believe they used to be trees So please just use the amount you need Till we take another trip to the factory Okay, bye bye TP Bye bye